In this tutorial, we're going to provide an overview of Teledyne LaCroix's SAS Sierra Infusion capability. This is an error injection system that's designed to test error recovery at the system level. It's fully integrated within the Sierra Analyzer platform, and it's designed to sit in line between a real initiator and a target port and programmatically inject errors, including symbol coding, CRC, and disparity errors, to verify that the system can recover properly. Fundamental to this type of testing is that you need to be transparent to the system under test, where you're running real workloads, and then you modify traffic on the fly, and then while the system is operating, you inject errors or create marginal link conditions. This way you can verify the error recovery and also see the impact at the system level. This kind of error handling is built into the SAS protocol, but you really need to verify that it's working as designed and see the impact on performance. This is an optional feature that's built into the Sierra Analyzer platform. It sits in line and provides a lot of control over when the error occurs. You can wait for specific link states or inject errors randomly. It can also drop primitives or entire frames from the traffic. This makes it easy to test all your timers from your open accept to your credit timeout. These are soft errors that may have only been tested in simulation. Now you can force them into the line during periods of heavy activity to stress test the system. Packet modification is possibly the most powerful capability we have here. You can change any field within the header or payload of a frame. You can basically create countless protocol errors with this mechanism. Invalid addresses, invalid commands, length mismatch, bad LBAs, literally any protocol error you can imagine you can create. On top of that, this is the only jammer on the market that can insert D words within a frame. By extending the length of a frame, you can now intercept a response frame, change the status good to check condition, and then insert the additional sense key and sense data to simulate basically dozens of different SCSI level errors. Now, is it possible to do this type of testing with a traffic generator? Probably, but writing target emulation scripts much harder. And of course, it's not real world with real traffic on the line. To see the Infusion Jammer in action, please download the next training segment where we'll start with a simple CRC error example and then cover some of the other cases, including credit starvation for target ports and check condition handling for host controllers. Along the way, we'll see how the analyzer is an essential part of this testing because it lets you see and confirm the recovery behaviors, including any latencies that are introduced.